I wanted to welcome everybody here uh, to this uh, important occasion. Uh, Bill Brand, as you may know, is a uh, Redondo Beach City Councilman. And um, he has uh, uh, taken a tremendous amount of initiative in this uh, movement to uh, end the power plant in Redondo Beach. And uh, we owe him a lot of gratitude. He's very knowledgeable on the subject. And uh, Bill, if you would like this. Uh, yeah, well, first, thanks for having me, Steve. I, I really, really appreciate it. Um, we have an incredible opportunity uh, before us. It's a once-in-a-generation opportunity. And, and uh, I appreciate you uh, latching onto it and seeing it and right away. I mean, it didn't take you very long to figure out which side you, you needed to be on. And, and uh, so I really, really appreciate that. We're writing an initiative to phase out industrial uses on, in, on that parcel and uh, give them uh, uh, a new zoning that's like 30 to 40 percent commercial and 60 to 70 percent open space. And 30, 30 to 40 percent commercial <coughs> is like 15 to 20 acres of commercial development on the waterfront of Redondo Beach, so Southern California. That's significant economic value. Like, look, you got a senior living facility right on the property line. You have dense residential development right across the street, the most densely populated. And you have medium density uh, uh, to the east of it, and you've got a, a harbor with a bunch of boats and more apartment buildings and, and health club on the other side. I mean, it is surrounded by what they call incompatible uses. And that, to me, that was like the number one question I had over the last uh, several years that I've been looking at this. Is, are we going to need the power from that power plant? You know, the, the, the power shortages and Enron and the lights going out. And, and so I started reading the Energy Commission report. This is the agency, California State Energy Commission. Uh, that their whole charge is to uh, make sure that, that we provide enough energy to California. Same with the ISO. They're not an agency, but they're um, kind of a quasi-governmental agency that manages the entire grid in California. And uh, uh, they do studies after studies. They're constantly doing studies about how what's supply, what's going to be the demand, where do we need it, where can we retire them. Then you turn to the Energy Commission reports and, and the ISO reports, and there's significant excess capacity in this area, like double what the AES plant provides now. And plus, it never operates. I didn't touch on that. The AES power plant only operates at about 5% of capacity. It's a win win for everybody. It's even a, a win for AES. If they're operating at 5% of capacity, yeah. uh, getting, getting out of that deal is a win for them. And it's a win for uh, everybody who suffer, suffers from the pollution. Uh, it's a win for the environment in general. It's a win for homeowners. It's win, a win for everybody who looks down the coastline here. And ins instead of seeing those big smokestacks, uh, we'll see um, more uh, beautiful land. Yeah, yeah. It's a, it's an incredible opportunity. It really, really is. And you guys, if you don't know about, there's a there's a website called NoPowerPlant.com, and there's an online petition you can sign that says I oppose the power plant in Redondo Beach. So if you haven't signed it, just go to NoPowerPlant.com and you'll see the link to the petition.